John Radoff. I'm the CEO of Disruptor Beam, and we're here at PAX East at our Game of Thrones Ascent booth. So talk a little about Game of Thrones Ascent and how you guys have been expanding this world. Okay, so it's a game that launched last year on the web, and we launched it on iPad just a couple of weeks ago. So that's a big expansion in terms of more devices accessing it. Um, we're going to be shipping on Android devices in a few weeks, too. So pretty much you'll be able to access it anywhere, anytime, any device pretty soon. In terms of other ways we're expanding it, well, we've been adding a lot of content to the game. Uh, the game itself is a game about the diplomacy and politics of Westeros. So you're, it's all about backstabbing and making alliances and working with other players to rise to the top of that ladder of power. So we've been adding content every week to the game. And while the season is on the air, which just came back a week ago, every day, you know, content is being added for that. So like on the Monday after the episode airs, you'll be able to see stuff. So won't give away any spoilers, but all the chicken was in there on Monday and Oberyn Martell's clothing and equipment, that was in there. And if you watch the show, you're gonna be able to have that experience of feeling like you're part of the world. How does it expand beyond the experience that people have from watching the show or reading the books? Well, there's just a lot of things to do. So you're playing the role of a lord within Westeros. So certainly a big part of the game is that you're going to explore the same kind of plots and themes that you see in the show and the book, but you also go beyond that. So you have your own interests, you have your own you know, rivals for power in your immediate area. But of course, all the players are playing with each other. You're playing with real people. About 100,000 people a day are in this game. And you're kind of, in a sense, creating your own content because every month we have something we call the Alliance versus Alliance War and there's a winning alliance every single month and they're the ones that figure out how to manipulate the whole political landscape really to their benefit. What is it about this world that makes it so ripe for video games? Uh, well, I think that lots of people just love the idea of Game of Thrones and the fact that it brings something new to the fantasy genre. In the past, everything was really just an adventure story where it's like the band of people against the big bad evil guy. And now, people have gotten a lot more sophisticated about storytelling and the kinds of things they enjoy within these kind of universes. So they like the moral ambiguity and the full range of different kinds of characters. And Game of Thrones really is about that political structure and the variable ways that you can resolve different conflicts. Sometimes it's by the sword, but by, more often than not, it's through intrigue, it's through coin, it's all these other things. And people seem to really like that backdrop. How will the mobile versions connect to the people that have been playing it on PC? All the mobile versions are one persistent world, so if you play on the web, iPad, Android devices, everyone is in the same universe, and that's important for something like this because the fan base for Game of Thrones is everybody, and we can't have like a silo for web and a silo for people that that's just purely based on what device they happen to own. So if you have friends that are also Game of Thrones fans, you'll be able to either ally with them or backstab them, whatever it is that you prefer to do with your friends in real life. You can do that within the game. Doesn't matter what device they're on.